So uh, as we wrap up, you had mentioned your mocap work. I'm always so fascinated by that and what goes into creating games. And like, <laughs> I'll like I'll mention something. I'll be like, hey, they need to add the Bret Hart accidental spot on British Bulldog from SummerSlam 92. You know, where he, he launches himself over the ropes and he does like the Randy Orton backbreaker. And I'll get like a random message where Kenny King's like, fine, you come take it while I mocap it then. <laughs> and you learn like who mocaps these things. Like what? What was that experience like? Because I mean, you're doing sometimes stuff you're familiar with, or maybe moves that you haven't done in a very long time. I would imagine. Uh, well, I I was mocapping a very long time. So it, when we were in developmental in OVW 2007, they were using the WWE wrestlers, the developmental wrestlers, and I had I think because I was friendly with Nova, Nova put my name in to be one of the one of the mocappers, which was great because. I hated being an OVW, you know, so anything to separate that grind was amazing and we got paid to do it. So, uh, and then when I got fired soon after that, they stopped using the wrestlers because they didn't want the wrestlers getting hurt. So they were looking for outside wrestlers and they remembered that I did a good job at mocap. So then I got put on the team and I was doing, so essentially 2007 to probably 2018 was the last time to maybe even 2019. I did some mocap, uh, you know, uh, a long time. And again, you know, people wondering how we make, you know, how we make a living, you know, that was always a great part of the hustle. And there's so many people who've done mocap. Uh, Adam Pierce texted me the other day and said, how come you didn't put me over in an interview that, that tell them that I did mocap? Well, Adam did mocap. <laughs> Adam Pierce did a lot of mocap. Th there, right, are, there are so many modern fans that don't realize he was an amazing wrestler. And it's so weird to me because it was not that long ago. And we did Andre Hogan for WrestleMania three. Oh, yeah, me, yeah, me, and uh, <laughs> and he was Andre. Like, he was the biggest guy doing mocaps. You, you got to take credit for slamming 700-pound Andre in the I Silver do. Dome from now on. And I, like, half-ass slammed him, too. Yes! You know? <laughs> um, but the, the, the best one that I love doing, because I was uh, not, I wasn't a crazy backyard wrestler, but I loved ECW as a kid, mm -hmm. and I loved New Jack, and so, like, I love stunt wrestling, yeah. which I know isn't, like, I shouldn't say that. But obviously, you know, uh, I love watching from afar. So that you know, uh, I'm I might be Joey Janela's only fan. You know, like uh, <laughs> I, you know, when he was doing that, I loved it. I, I think it's crazy. Yeah. It's very unsafe. I, you shouldn't do oh, it at home. But if, my, if you do it, I want to watch it. I did an in-person interview at the AIW school with Josh Prohibition, and the whole thing was me marking out about him being in the backyard wrestling game. Like there you go, him and M Dog. That's that's what made me go. Oh my god, that's so cool! I want to jump off a tree through a table. Exactly. And so I got to do, uh, I, I got thrown off the cage. I did Undertaker Mankind and I was, I was Mankind. They were like, who wants to do this? And I was like, me, 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 me. So you know, how, like, do, how do they do that? How do they set that up? Are you on a structure or is it like, well, they had a ring and then they built a scaffold. They built scaffolds big enough to be the size of the hell in the cell. Uh -huh. uh, and then there was a scaffold up top. And then, um, yeah, they just throw some mats down on the ground and you just, you get hucked, and uh, Ezekiel oh. Jackson was the one oh my God. who threw me off. He was Undertaker. Oh, I was Mankind, and I was so excited. And everyone couldn't believe how excited I was, but it was so much fun, especially knowing that, you know, like when I was in high school, like I would jump out of trees and like learn how to like roll correctly out of the grass. So to do this from such a high elevation onto pads where I knew I would be safe. It's very exciting. See, if that were me, regardless of anything else that you've accomplished in your life, my Twitter bio would be slammed Andre at WrestleMania three, got thrown off hell in a cell. Ezekiel Jackson made me famous. Like that's, that's how you do <laughs> it. Me, Ezekiel Jackson made me video game famous. <laughs> there you go. I mean, just take credit for it all. Was there ever anything in there that they asked you to do? And you're like, can I pull this off? Everybody has their physical limitations. Oh, there, yeah, there were a couple of things. God, I can't, nothing that I can remember. I was going to say, when you started asking that question, I, was, I remember they asked for me to put the Billy Coates curse in there, in the game. And that oh. became like a secret hidden thing because th those guys were also wrestling fans, mm -hmm. you know? So they, they were like, they were like, let's get your entrance and your finishing moves. And they would secretly put it in for like the creative player stuff. Cause like, I mean, I know sometimes like they'll randomly one year to be like, bam, the Steiner screwdriver is in the game. And I'm like, I, I wonder how the conversation goes there. It's like, Hey, we know that you're never, ever, ever going to see this on WWE TV, but they still want it in the game. 
those program it's the, it's the programmers who like know they have the ability to just put in a move. Yes. And they're they're super fans and they know all they know all the moves and they know all like the cool moves too. So they want to put everything in. And the fun I some of the fun was they had a good variety of different wrestlers who could play different roles. Mm -hmm. But sometimes there was just somebody that it was just impossible to get the person to do one of their moves and they would have to bring in like somebody special. Uh, some of the times it was the women, uh, like, you know, no one could do like the Molina splits. I think they had to bring someone in who could do the splits or maybe even Molina at that point. And I want to say some of the rest, you know, maybe even like Evan Bourne, like just no one could do maybe his shooter or the way he does it. So they would have to bring him in. And of course, uh, Hornswoggle, I believe, had to do his own stuff. Yeah, it's like when I look at a, a Montez Ford frog splash, it's like, man, who, who are they going to get to emulate that specifically? And there was one time where none of us could figure out how to do the Roman Reigns super punch. Really? Like, all It's just all of our footing was so it was two left feet for everyone. And everyone's all like, oh, this is easy. And then we couldn't do it. And then on, on Sanjay was next. And then he couldn't do it. And then Pierce couldn't do it. And then Trent couldn't do it. And just no one could figure out how to do it. 